good morning everybody and welcome to the stream uh, we're just switching over to uh, explain yeah there we go that's got my live so good morning guys and uh, i hope you're going to enjoy the stream with us um it's kind of early in the states or late depending on how you look at it so i'm not going to fly real time we're going to do a sunrise uh, early morning departure then in our time and we're going to fly up north and then through the day we'll make our way back down south unfortunately uh, due to uh, this uh, amazingly wonderful government that we have here we will not have electricity again uh, this evening and that means I will not be able to uh, do the group flights I'm just gonna do a couple of flights during the day and enjoy myself and then go have a rest when they take the electricity away again so just FYI on that one um, the rest of the Zebo pilots group will have the group flight tonight and any of you guys are obviously welcome to join in um, even if you don't fly or if you fly offline join the guys on discord it's uh, always nice to just have a, a nice social as well good morning Uncle John um, you need to go to push to talk please we are in the live on air route and then you can chat with us and um, I've started uh, setting up the aircraft a little bit already because I was bored before the stream and then I had to go make some coffee so I'm just going to continue where I left off and as usual you guys can obviously jump in when necessary ask your questions tell us your stories Okay, so that takes care of our uh, route for us. Now, before we continue, I need to check out a few things. Uncle John. Radio check. Good morning, sir. 5-5. Five, five. How me? Excellent. Good stuff. Um, right, so I need to set up my weights and balances and all the rest quickly. Guys, I've linked to the scenery in the description below the video, so if you were interested in getting the scenery, it's really amazing scenery. Uh, go grab it, it's there. My scroll wheel has just decided not to scroll anymore. How's that? Good morning, Kevin. Guys, the wheel's on board. There we go. X camera had to be restarted, so that's fine, that's done. I hope you had a good evening, uh, Kevin, and that uh, you are well rested.
Yeah, stage three. So uh, stage one and two, we don't have any load shedding. Stage three, we're going to be off from 1600 until 2030 local. So that's right when we're supposed to get going with a group flight, which is kind of a, a sad situation. And good morning, Stefan. Happy Saturday to you too. Right. Um, we are all loading. We're doing all this. Yeah. Alright, so we said 5.1 on the fuel means the fuel is loaded. Uh, 62.7 on zero fuel weight, that's perfect. Gross weight 67.7, perfect. Uh, which city do you stay in, Kevin? Where do you live in South Africa? We said three four zero. Actually forgot to do that first. Yeah, no, it's not okay, okay. But at least you've got a better area than us. I'm stuck in Joburg, so you've got something to look at, something nice of nature. Good morning, Jose. Guys, just, um, oh, good morning, Jet Noise. Uh, just as a matter of interest, we had some great fun yesterday with the Zebo flying into Ontario. There's a hold before you get into the ILS. So we approached it from the east and we went into the hold. I cannot tell you how impressed we were yesterday with the Zebo flying that hold perfectly by the textbook. It was perfect. And um, so I'd, I'd like to encourage if you guys have got you know time to burn today go try and fly into ontario on uh, eight left and do that hold it's just amazing how the zebo is now flying this thing it's just gorgeous good morning bedrip And we're going to climb to 340. I assume you're going to go into Sim Tool Kit and put yourself in there? Yes, I am in there already, Uncle John. Which wrong way are you taking off from? Two six right. Guys, I've also just gone live on Vatsum, so if any of you guys want to fly with or fly behind me, you're welcome. Um, give me a shout out if you want to do that, I'll have a look out for you. 
Um, a couple of months ago, probably two months ago, there was a guy that used to follow me. He was watching the stream and he was flying behind me and then one day I asked about it and he then identified himself and he, I've never seen him again. Um, if you're on back on stream, please don't give up. Uh, I'm not sure why you gave up, but um, it was actually nice having you tail me around, you know. So if you see it, if you want to do it again, please feel free. Good morning, Paul. Shame, give him time, man. It's a bit early for some guys. I mean, my time zone is really a bad time zone. It's not a good one. Not for streaming and you know, having a nice social gathering. It's easier to or better to fly in the evenings because then most people are up and doing things and have time. But for some reason, my Sim Toolkit Pro is not showing my taxiways at all. Uh, I figured that. Yeah. Jet noise, you can say that again. I tell you, look, Zebo spent a lot of time the last couple of days on the holds and last night it just blew us away when we when we put it through its paces we literally just left it to do its thing and it flew the teardrop entry it did everything by the book it was just amazing so you anyway, know i'm not going to waste time i know how to taxi and where to taxi we're not going to go far so Captain, got the directions. Let me know through the menu when you're ready. And Uncle John, your sound sounds amazing today. I'm glad we rebooted your router last night. Silly, isn't it? Silly thing like the router was screwing it up as bad as that. Yeah. Right, I need to start my flight leg in my VA client, otherwise it's going to be a problem. Yes, we're online. Oakland Center is online, but that's a bit far off. Kevin, no, I run it in full screen mode. Um, I get better performance doing it that way, and because I've got multiple screens, it just works better. Flashy, moet as a blief nie so lelik praat op die stream nie, dis nie nodig nie hoor. En dit het niks met die vliegtuig uit te waai nie, daar is iets aan jou kant wat jy met recht maak hoor. Jy moet oefen, niks kom vir niet nie, ok, jy moet hard werk. Ok, back to our side of things, let's continue. Uh, I don't need to wait 20 minutes, I can actually go through the paces. I can start out if you already. That's weird. No, that's terrible. Glad mine works.
Right, I think we're basically done, to, uh, ready to go. Flashy, I can't help you when I'm streaming. It's not going to work for me. So um, you're going to have to either dig deep, go to the forum, go to Facebook somewhere, get somebody to help you, or come on to Discord and ask the guys to help you. But uh, not on my stream, please. We can worry about that later. Ladies and gentlemen, for me, it's like that. Welcome aboard our flight today. We're wrapping up the final paperwork here. Should get you on your way momentarily. I want to thank you so much for your company and business. We invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Again, welcome aboard. Great news, Captain. Your toe's coming. Well, he sounds excited this morning. Time we do ask all passengers, take your seat at this time and please fasten your seatbelt. I'm sure it does, if I could only understand what you're saying. No, I'm not talking about flash, I'm talking about cats right there, wanting to come and do the pushback for us, yeah. Hey, I'm trying you back. Yeah, I'm like a bad penny. <laughs> Money's money. All right, looks like the doors and hatches are closed and we're ready to connect. Flight attendants, prepare for departure, cross check and all call, thank you. I'm quietly chomping away on my breath. I haven't got chocolate, but I have got egg. Yeah, Don't fine. talk to me about chocolate. <laughs> My crown fell out last night. Well, as I said earlier, it's just as well Welcome it fell out Captain. before Toast you went. You probably safe to, to leave the gold. Scottish We've got our own gold mines up there. We don't need to. That's a point, John. Uh, it's sort of like one of these questions. Scotland's got its own gold mines. Wales has got its own gold mines. Has anywhere in UK, in England, got any? So only in Cornwall. Uh, yeah, Cornwall. Uh, mind you, Cornwall's ma mainly tin, isn't it? Tin and copper, I thought. Party, good morning. <coughs> Dowler ID, thank you for subscribing. Anyway, it's in YouTube. Must keep on topic. Yes, please. I'm trying to find you on uh, Sim Toolkit, huh? I'm hoping you're on STKP. I'm supposed to be there, Uncle John. I can't see you. I can't even see myself now anymore. Um, I don't know if some toolkit players got issues. Oh, there we go. Now I'm back. I'm back. Oh, I can see you. 
Okay, I'll refresh, reopen it. Just about done here, go ahead and set your parking brake. Like set. And we're disconnecting the tow. Give me just a moment. So, is there any particular feature you or task you've set yourself on this flight? Mm, just to arrive alive mid throwing. No, I need to. All the plan was to get myself and into position. Signal and pen on the left. Take it easy and have a safe flight. Into position for the group flight this evening, and now we woke up with the morning that we won't with the news this morning that we won't have electricity tonight. So, I can't join you. So, um, anyway, the plan was to just fly the five legs that I needed to do to get to John Wayne so that I can join up with the group flight, and now it's not happening. So, I'm kind of not in a good mood about that. I'm a happy bunny, I've got you. Alright, cool. I'm just glad. think, though, of all that virtual fuel you're now going to. Well, at least I'm going to have time with my family. I mean, that's the only upside about it. I mean, really. And what did the wife say? Oh, no. You again. <laughs> no. No, no, no. She's, she's happy because she got the money she wanted. Um, oh, she's a happy bunny this morning. Yeah, so she's on her way to the shops. And she's going to have a ball of a time spending my money. And when she gets home, she's going to be all lovey-dovey. And, you know, normal woman for a change. And then hopefully we have a, a swell dinner and, you know, okay. have a nice yeah. talk. Yeah. Good. How long have you been married? <sighs> Uncle John, now you ask me this so early in the morning. 23 years this year. And it's still your money, not our money. It's never been otherwise, Uncle John. Never. My wife... Old-fashioned. No. Old-fashioned. My wife... Different culture, John. Yeah, Different it's, culture. No, it's not that. My wife was raised incorrectly. Um, she was taught that the man is the slave and she's the spender. And it's... One of those things that we've had to joke about a lot, but she'll never change, so we just leave it at that. Some toolkit pro is not moving my aircraft at all. There's definitely something secured, wrong. Cabin is secured. Have a good flight. Don't know what. Um, my aircraft is still standing right where I pushed back. It's not moving at all. So. Yes, it's moved a bit for me. No, not on my side. I don't know. Okay, when I zoom out, it's like when it's on auto zoom, it doesn't work. So I'm going to leave it off auto zoom and then let's see if that helps. 
It's moving on STKP, but it's very slow and behind on that. Well, on my yeah. own STKP, it's not even moving, so I don't know. Yeah, well, I'm sat at the end, it's showing you sat at the end of the runway on. Yeah, yeah, I, I, where, where I am right now, mine is also updated now, but I had to zoom out for it to kind of like refresh or something. Right. It's like it's not refreshing on its own. And last night before I went to bed, it was working perfectly, so... Nothing, it's probably nothing on my side. On that's runway, causing two, this. six, right. Let's go. It's on auto. It's on autopilot. It's still. It's still doing that. Look, it's still very unstable. It's just not right. You reckon it was on the pot last night? Well, I feel. I feel sorry for Zebo. I mean, blaming the tools. I mean. No, no. I didn't blame Zebo. I'm blaming Active Sky. Yeah, uh, there's something horribly wrong. Here. I'm gonna take it off the bat. Oh, there it's stable. I took the Vatsum weather off. There, look, it's stable. It's crap coming from Vatsum. <laughs> Kevin. I'm not sure I presume so um, the reason I say that is if you go to the actual um, settings let me show you and by the way I'm not using the sim toolkit pro weather right now I'm using active sky if you read here at the top it actually talks about winds aloft update interval so I don't think Dan would put it in if it does not update the winds aloft it must it must so that's, that's my opinion about it. Ooh, now it's following me. There we go. Yo, that Vatsum weather injection was definitely a problem. Look, it's perfectly stable now, just the way it should be. I think that one has to fight so hard early in the morning. Let's have a see outside. I 
thought it was a good example last night when both you and Dan were flying. Yeah. You could see the difference between the sceneries. Oh yeah. That was cool. Given that bug bites you, I find it very odd. Why this happens right now? That's very odd. Hello, Tim. Well, given start small, you know, choose your local airport for instance, just make the, the four tiles, you know, around it and then go fly a bit, you'll, you'll quickly see the benefit. It's about four inches long, John, by about <laughs> two and a quarter one. <laughs> I, I am definitely going to slap that that lad's legs. Uh, uh, you guys. Mac must have had a good sleep. He's in a good mood again. Yeah, absolutely. Morning, Paul. Good morning, sir. Well, it was when I got up. Well, it was when I got up and then I read... Um, the notices on the electricity and then that just soured my mood very rapidly. You've got everywhere in the world complaining about all these batteries and the ingredients you've been needed for them and most of them are to be found in Africa. You could have, would have thought that they would have developed the battery technology so that you could store your own electricity, people. Um, I reserve the right to remain silent. In, um, <laughs> in case I increment, um, what's in case of saying something incriminating against myself and being called something or not. So. I actually brought up the subject that I, we were talking about <coughs> yesterday. You chase up that problem, Vico. Which one now? What's on? Text me, Shaft. I, I don't know. Batteries. 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 No, I didn't know which ones. I, I got too busy and then I started flying and relaxing. And I'll have to find out. Um, there are a couple of guys who got caught. Um, they actually sell on the Facebook marketplace they sell the stolen batteries that they stole from the cell phone towers um, so I wanted to use marketplace to find a cheap solution and then I realized why it wasn't and it was on the news yesterday they caught a couple of guys stealing them and then selling them <laughs> crazy world is nice. I, um, I once found a legitimate source for that kind of backup battery apparently banks 
policy to change them much sooner than uh, the lifetime for the battery. And there are people who are dealing those and it's legit. So perhaps that's the source. Okay, cool. I never thought of that. That is actually a good idea. Um, the thing is, in South Africa, what the guys do, I've dealt with imports many times in my life. They go and they source these things in China. They multiply it by 5 or 10, sometimes by 100% to get a good margin. You know, so you get batteries here ranging from 250 Rand right up to 10 and 20,000 Rand a battery, depending on the generosity of the scammer who wants to sell it to you. So it will take a bit of digging to find a, a good source, you know, a trustworthy source, unfortunately. My batteries at this point in time, when I run my PC as I am right now, gives me about 8 minutes max, then they're gone. And in the beginning they used to give me about 7 hours. So in time, you know, they just built up in and go to waste. And if there's no load on them, they run about 28 minutes. I think you should also do an exercise, Nico, some point, to discover how long the batteries last in Zeep. The batteries in Zeep? Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> I need that the urge to do that. <laughs> I'll just ask you. <laughs> Guys on the stream, uh, please feel free to comment on the sound quality. Uh, sometimes, it, like when I'm external now, the engines are going to be louder than when I'm internal. But just give me a general feel of the sound quality because I've tweaked and tweaked and tweaked. For me, it sounds okay, but um, I still had one guy complain about it, so I don't know what else to do with this summary guide specifically. Good morning, Sentinel. Yeah, Dimitri, I saw that. Um, it's a pity they used SkyMax Pro. I mean, they should really ask a, a couple more people. You know, to ask the two most expensive suppliers compared to like Active Sky and their clouds. I'm pretty sure Active Sky will just convert it if they have to, or it might already be compatible. But it's like, you know. You can't just ask two people. You, you need to do a bit, of, a bit of sampling there. Ah, uh, Active Sky, remember, haven't issued their clouds that are comparable with the X and Mara ones. No, I'm uh, talking about that, something that that's compatible. That, that was something they promised would come out in the future. Yes, yes, they said, they said. But they still have clouds already in Active Sky. The question is, will that be compatible? Because it's just a, a DDS file format, I don't see why it shouldn't be compatible. Ah, there's no problem, because they're only 2D yeah. uh, currently. Okay. Um, X and Baro have been trying to do these 3D yeah. clouds. Yes. yes. And that was the original thought, that the 3D clouds wouldn't work, but they've now messed around with the API and it looks like it can Alright, I suppose that is now a bit of sound given. Actually a bit soft now, I can hardly hear the engines. One notch up should be okay. Try two notches. Let's see. 
Okay, well that's two notches up. At least I can hear something now. I hope that's okay, Kevin. Just sample that for me. It's actually the engines and noise are in cockpit than they are outside. Alright, so let's see what we can do about the interior. How's that better? Yeah, that, that's better to be balanced, yeah. Alright, definitely. Alright, thank you guys, that's much appreciated because I went back and I listened to the other stream and I find it difficult to identify what the uh, viewers are you know, on about, so I appreciate it when we can do this live. Would you agree, John, Paul, May, Sam? Let me have a listen. Go to our outside again, Nico. Um, I'm not too worried about that, but I'll do that quickly. See, the sound will also change depending on the relative camera position to the actual engine. Yeah, no, that's, I think, a bit better balance. Okay. And I don't want the guys to pull their headsets off when I go outside or not be able to hear me when we speak. You know. Thank you, Kevin. I'm glad. I'm really glad to hear that. Thank you, guys. Thousand ago. Yep, Sam's good to me. <laughs> um, good morning, Krister. I see you you left out one O and it saw the word God and it, it deleted it. Sorry, buddy. Just try again. But good morning. Good morning and welcome to the stream. Um, there's got to be rules, unfortunately. Right, top of descent, 107 nautical miles, so we might as well start looking at our descent planning. Right, being as we haven't done this for the last, can you um, perhaps go through the landing performance on the EFB just today, if we've got time, Nick? Um, yeah, we can do that. Alright, so let's start from the beginning. Uh, is the KP open that up? Alright, so I will input our course and ILS frequencies. Our go around is 1900 feet if we have to go around. Um, we're going to use the ILS, so we'll use minimums on the Barrow 4257. Um, Right, we're going to descend to 2700 for the interception there uh, of the ILS. The last time we did this flight, I missed the interception completely because I had somebody behind me that we needed to land. Who was it? Alex. I think it was Alex. And I saw I had to add fly this one. Um, hopefully it will be better today. So then our transition altitude obviously is 18,000. Airport elevation is... Uh, 62 the touchdown zone is 57 so no big shakes there all right then let's look at our airport we have 11,000 feet uh, 3,353 meters 306 on the arrival course all right so just double check that 2700 so to buy us a little bit of time we're going to set that first so if we talk too much the aircraft will actually descend without us Dimitri you know what it still floats with me as well 
Um, sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't get it right. Um, that's Oakland calling me. Let's just talk to him quickly. Expilot, uh, Oakland Center, please contact me, 132 200. And then I hope he's still going to give me the same approach and everything, so let's see. Oakland Center, good morning, Southwest uh, 456 uh, with your flight level 340 inbound uh, Cores uh, intersection. Oakland Center, good morning, Southwest 456, uh, flight level 340, inbound, um, uh, Cores. Southwest 456, Oakland Center, good morning, Squawk 3375, and if you can, resend your flight plan for me, please. 3375, and we will resend the flight plan, Southwest uh, 456. Uh, what's it, 33? What did I say? 3357. Damn. Uh, Oakland Center, Southwest uh, 456, please repeat the squawk code. 3375, 3375. Thank you, sir. Not too much, you see. 3375, and now I'll obviously have to do this. Uh, let's I shall do that, sir. Thank you. Oakland Center, this is Singapore 12 Heavy. Do you copy? Singapore 12, yes, I do. Copy that. Yeah, we're with you at uh, 390. Had to get our mic situation squared away, but I think everything is good. Okay, Singapore 12, Roger that, squawk 3332. 3332. Heavy, just in the future, uh, future reference for you. Usually, the airlines, when when you file a flight plan, it's usually the ICAO code, so it's the three-letter identifier. For Singapore, it would have been SIA. Copy that, uh, SIA. Roger that. So it's a three-letter code. Okay. Yeah, we're kind of new to this, buddy. So sorry about that, man. Nah, no, no worries. That's how we learn, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Singapore 12, we got your radar contact. Flight level 390. Welcome aboard. Thank you, sir. Glad to be here. Oakland Center, Southwest uh, uh, 456. Southwest 456, go right ahead. So we've resent the flight plan. X pilot is refusing to change the uh, flight level of the cruise. So I've made a remark there for you. We are at uh, 340. Got you at uh, flight level uh, 340. Looks like I'm going to have to give another squat code. Hold on really quick. And sample is 456. Reset your transponder for me in squat 3206. 3206. 3206 Southwest uh, 456. Hello, Dominique.
Yeah, Dominique, all is well, thank you. Just concentrating now on this. Right. Uh, direct Clyde and uh, descent via the Silicon 4 uh, for Southwest 456. mistake shows you how easy you can make one supposed to go into that one where that's a little bit purple right so and bearing off of Travis squat 3350 release for departure 3350 so they can bear silicon 4 yeah that's 100% correct okay where are we we need to just go through this that should be fine all right there you go trying yeah all right so there we have selected um, the relevant information that we want to land with we've got our landing weight we're going to add VF plus five Flaps 30. you leave my airspace to the northeast uh, Sorry, center is offline radar service change the program over to United 194 wow all this point where the floor is. Double wow. Alright, anyway, now this. Oh, come on, shut up. Thanks, RT. Um, anyway, okay, so on, on auto brake 2, this is the amount of runway we're going to use, and on auto brake 3 changes it becomes obviously a little bit shorter so I don't know exactly what you want to know from it but there you go it's it was just to show the feet of the other what Zippo's been trying to do yeah it all right, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I'll be trying to include some training. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. And yeah, now I've got this ATC and this very annoying person flying in the F-16. Because it's now, they're just talking in my ears the whole time nonsense. So sorry about that. McTrying, I think what we'll do is when when it's all done, you know, we'll set it up properly. We'll do proper training on it. Yeah, it was just the, the landing sites yeah. now work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at least, at least that is. So I'm going to leave it on an auto break too. And I jolted my pedal just a few quiet moments. Happened. Yeah, for sure. And then the ATC started. So sorry about that. Try. No. Uh, you get full marks for effort.
Now the Whispers is this guy in the F-16 and I didn't pay very much attention in the beginning but it kind of sounded like he's asking the controller to be his valentine so he's obviously trying to be funny I mean really Yeah, the beauty of that. I can do though that F sixteen is actually uh, on a airfield base is not like he's just flying about being a menace no he's not being a menace flying around he's he's being silly on the frequency and yeah um, that's bad. bad comment yeah. he's at Travis Air Force Base And I mean, this controller sounds very, you know, cool and competent. I'd love to fly with him. You know, it just irks me that some selfish guy can just come on here and just be funny. What, you being a bit like that McTrian bloke who comes and tries to hijack your streams? No, sir. No, no. Two different things. Two different things. Dimitri. Yeah, um, I don't want to spoil the whole stream because I'm frustrated with this guy, so <laughs> I'll just pretend it didn't happen. Um, yeah, Kevin, I've I've banned a few guys because they try to be funny, and um, yeah, I I know I'm lucky, I'm really lucky. cameras acting out today Dominic it looks like it it obviously still kicks you off when the frames goes really wonky um, but so far it's at least not giving all the false positives that it used to do much better more stable hello Alba Pino
Dimitri, look, I can't speak for other people. I don't know why they do that, but I've got a good guess. Um, obviously, a lot of the guys are tired of the people giving false positives on the Zebo, saying that there is a problem with the Zebo when it's just the lack of skills or capabilities. And I think what they're trying to do is to preempt the situation by saying, listen, I just flew the Zebo, I had no problems, so don't come here and tell us you had problems. I think that's the easiest explanation that I can imagine. This was real nice of this guy, if you look at the actual route that we're cutting out, we cut out quite a huge section of this route, turning left there, now just going straight, it's very nice. Kilo, Sierra, Juliet, Charlie, airport information, Oscar, 0753, Zulu, weather, wind, calm, visibility, 1, 0, sky condition, few clouds at 3,500, few clouds at 1, 3,000, temperature, 9, dew point, 7, altimeter, 3018, advise on initial contact, you have information, Oscar, Right, so that takes care of our primary flight display. We've got our MCP to just check the 306. That's perfectly fine then. Um, let's quickly look at the wind situation.
Hello, David. And Open Center. Hey, Brett. Uh, November 4, we're in Echo Sierra. We're holding short of Livermore on 25 right. We like to fly following to Oakland. Golden Control on this night. November 4, one, one Echo Sierra, Oakland Center, Roger, Squawk 3262. 3262, thanks. I have a question, Nico, if you have time. I have. Earlier on in the stream, you, I think you disconnected that's in weather, is that correct? Uh, yeah, it was in um, Active Sky, yes. So does that explain now why ATC said information Zulu, but your yes. radio... Uh, the the active, yeah, active Sky will not sync the yeah, alphabet anyway. Are you ready to go? Um, yeah, we're ready to go. Active Sky has got its own way of measuring it because it doesn't bargain on you talking to that sort of Livermore Tower is closed, of course. Report off of Livermore and report airborne in this frequency. Uh, if you're not off within 0915, uh, advise attention to this frequency. Release for departure. Hello, Derek. Good morning. Right, we'll contact you in the air for 4 and So, yeah, it's, um, uh, the only reason is because it's, um, uh, we're on, this is under the Bravo Airport. Is that why? You're, you're going to be going into the Bravo once you get into San, going into Oakland there. Out of interest, Nico, this airport you're going uh, to. I was thinking 3500. Has it got a zone 8 frequency? Yeah, unfortunately, my stupid center, the VE room doesn't have, have the Bravo. I don't have to see it, probably. That, that should be fine. Uh, you'll be able to load the fire. Uh, the Bravo. Yeah, I'll be able to load the fire. Uh, the Bravo. Okay, so, should we uh, go to the Bravo when we're out coming into Oakland? Or what would you like us to do? We're just staying here to come. Actually, yeah, stay on Unicom. When you get a little bit closer to the airport, switch over to me and I can give you clear to land on that. Alright, we'll do it. Perfect, thanks dude, I really uh, appreciate it. I'm not going to okay, go no to it right now. Because that's the explain one. So, the whole idea is to get the weather from VATSIM, really. That is that is the whole idea. But, um, if you tune the frequency, if VATSIM have got it, uh, I'll try and check. You should get a VATSIM read. I know, but I don't think there will be. Let me have a look quickly. Yeah, there is KSFO Atis. The guy's not playing Oakland um, or the actual KSJC Atis. He's playing the KSFO Atis. So that's on that side. Okay. See, my options were to basically go to Active Sky and put the mouse on the airport and read the meter or go to Sim Toolkit Pro and just look at the meter that's there because that's supposed to be the same one or just listen to it and I just listen to it but Active Sky does not sync with uh, the, the voice doesn't sync with Vatsim voice you know so that's why the ones on A and the other ones on B terms of designation. Ryan, buy Xperialistic from the Explain store. It is secure when you do it there. I don't know where else uh, you're looking at, but that's the best place to buy it.
Right, so he gave us instructions up to Clyde, which is our next waypoint, so he'll probably give the next set of instructions after that. Clear ILS approach, uh, runway 30 left for Southwest 456, thank you sir. Okay. No Dimitri, there's no truth in that, uh, the two are not realistic, uh, uh, they're not realistically connected to each other, there's no reason to believe that. Uh, the only thing that I do switch off in experialistic is just the wings. American 6815, push back to your discretion. Just call me. Just call me when you're ready to taxi. The wind is just crazy. Oh, sorry, and then uh, yeah. So I will call you when you're ready for taxi. Scandinavian 935 Charlie, depart Briggs intersection, fly heading 140. After bricks, the center maintains 7,000. Expect back here for the visual approach and wait 28 left. The uh, fly heading uh, 1 plus 0 after bricks and uh, the center. 7,000 feet and expecting vectors for ILS from the uh, 8 left. Canadian 935 jump. Just gonna be nine three five Charlie, all is correct. Just wanna make sure it's seven thousand after breaks. Seven thousand after breaks, okay, it's gonna be a nine three five John. Southwest four fifty six. Sensitive winds are one seven zero four, runway three zero left clear to land. Runway three zero left clear to land and uh, full southwest four fifty six. Yeah, Ryan, that website is the right one. Get it there. 411 Echo Sierra, if you have the frequency, you really only have to call me. You're below the Bravo all the way to the airport, so you're good to go. You don't have to call me. Cool, great. Thanks, dude. <laughs> no problem. You have a good night. I'll tune in later. Okay, buddy. Take care. You too. Um, bed trip. On heading mode, you will actually fly to whatever is on your MCP, so it will fly the actual heading. On track mode, it will uh, fly the magenta line basically. So when you have like a crosswind, you will always see there's like a crabbing happening, and the difference between it is one will be the the nose. There's always pointing to the heading while the aircraft is flying the track. Uh, so. It's so difficult for me to, to explain if I don't show you, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. I'm literally flying um, eating mode on the nose now, so, so I hope that helps. Thank you. 
Oakland Center Southwest uh, 456 runway vacated. Southwest 456, continue to taxi across runway 30 right to the ramp this frequency tonight. Continue and cross runway 30 right uh, on this frequency. Good night. Not I've had a series of terrible Scanning landings behind. Charlie, me. if you haven't already, start reducing the speed to 210 knots. I changed knots. the ATC just now. Uh, reducing the boot time on the Navy 9-3-5. Okay, the Unicom just now. Um, then we can have a good chat. on let me quickly change this frequency right okay so i've had a series of terrible landings for some reason you know we all get our off days and last night it started to change again i had good landings at uh, ontario and this was a good one as well so it was actually funny uh, one of the landings landings was too hard then it was too soft and it was this then it was that and whatever so anyway, I'm just saying that to let you know it happens to the best of us, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know Dimitri or chiropractor, so yeah, I tell him to get another source of income and sell chickens or something, you know. Um, I'm I'm not using a sound enhancement as such, Kevin. Um, the XP Realistic has got certain sounds that it does supply that is additional, obviously playing on top of the Zebo mod and then what I do is I disable the airframe wind um, just give me a second guys please
Sorry, my son just arrived back home. He just wanted to say hello. So anyway, I'm coming back to the sounds. I do disable the airframe wind because it's just too much. It, it really kills the immersion because it's just so much. Okay, all right, well. Um, let's quickly go through, have a look, see where this weather or oh, oh, wind thing is. Uh, rudder squeeze is not for this kind of aircraft. There we go, airframe wind. That is literally, once you've set up your profile to use a B738, because that's also very important, you can't use a Cessna airframe on a Boeing. So you need to get that right. And then what you need to do is literally, the only thing I change is just I disable the airframe wind because once that goes on, it's like, ugh. Okay, now it's not playing the the preview for us but anyway yeah um dimitri there's no need to have it in my hangar literally like i've just explained um the only thing i switch off is just the airframe wind so first of all make sure you're using the proper profile you know that you have a bang profile and then the last thing is just switch off the wind the rest is stock standard i don't change anything um so that's that's about the only thing i can tell you because that's the only thing there is. This obviously adds wind when you put the flaps out and speed brake and it does all kinds of enhancements on the sound. Um, you know, but um, it's not you know overbearing like uh, the the airframe wind. That's just totally crazy. No, Dominic, I don't use Tracker IR. Um, I built myself a little lookalike thing once, you know, that I just made for myself, and it worked pretty nicely. But I never ever had anything flight sim related that bored me so fast like that. To, to have to move your head to move where you look, it was crazy, man. It, it got boring very quickly it just got too much and i mean i think i used it for like a month or two and then i stopped using it because it worked pretty nicely but it's boring having to move your head or it's taxing you know to move your head for every single thing you want to look it's much easier using the mouse for me uh, that's just me thank you um kevin yeah it does sound good um i just need to quickly shut down the engines and lock this flight for the VA quickly and then we can do a replay as well and it's been approved fantastic Got it, got it, Dimitri. Yeah, um, it's easy enough for me to either use the mouse or just the hat switch. I mean, it's on my thumb, um, either on the left hand or the right hand, so I don't mind doing that. Let us quickly go into replay mode and get off X Pilot. There you go. Uh, disconnected. Yes, thank you very much. We can actually close you.
Very nice. Yeah, I think so too. Let's see from the tower view. Um, I can live with that. I think that's cool. No comment about that landing from JR this morning. I'm wondering if he didn't fall asleep. I'm here. Hmm, okay. Nice um, to know you're still with us, John. Yeah, yeah. Um, Chris, just for your information, I did put a video from a real world pilot into the training Discord chat room where you left your message earlier. Just go have a look there because. Um, there you can precisely see at 20 when the GPWS says 20 it pulls back on the throttle and the flares you know so that should also help thank you Krister um, and thank you Bitrip I try but like I said earlier guys don't ever get disheartened when you have a bad day we all have bad days some days I land like a royal palooka you know, and then it takes me a, a stream or two or a flight or two to just get back into the swing of things. So just always practice and just go for it. All right, guys, um, I'm going to uh, switch the stream off now then, and then we will see you a little bit later. I need to quickly take my son to go and fetch uh, some stuff from the shop. And then when I come back, I'll probably do another flight seeing I'm not going to have electricity in the late afternoon evening situation. So keep an eye out for the next stream and then we will fly from this airport to whatever the next one is on the list. And um, whatever you do, enjoy. Enjoy until we speak again. <laughs> Sentinel. Ah, good one, good one. You know what? We... Uh, just practice, man. Enjoy. Enjoy. Guys, we'll talk later. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Bye, Nico.